All right, guys, so the first video, we did one-step equations. We were doing the inverse of multiplication and division. They were separate. They were very easy problems, hopefully, for most of you. Um, and you had a small introduction to a super simple literal equation. And literal just means that there's more than just one variable. And we're moving, again, reordering that equation. So down here, number 9 and 10, again, are literal equations because we have more than one variable. So that means at no point are you going to have x equals or z equals or g equals. Both of these say solve for x, but we can't just have x equals a number because there's two variables or z equals a single number. You can't get rid of other variables. So our first one, we want to solve for x. So we need x by itself, but right now it's in the denominator portion. So you can't have the variable you need in the denominator. So just like when we were doing before, to get those numbers off the bottom in the previous video, we multiply by the number on the bottom. That makes these go away. So x times z, not like terms, so they just write x times z, equals 2. Now, is x by itself? Not yet. It is attached to z, x times z. So these are just like the very first problems from our first video. The inverse of multiplication is going to division, so we're going to divide by z. Now these cross out, and we end up with x equals 2 over z. Kind of looks crazy, but then you ask yourself again, is x by itself? Yep. So at that rate, you're done with that guy. So it's just a two-step combination of the two skills we did in the first video. So this one, that negative, you just have to decide where to apply it. I'm going to put it with the 3 and then ignore it down there. So it's attached to my 3 for now. It just has to apply to one of them because that fraction to be negative 1 is negative 1 is positive. If they're both negative, then the whole fraction would become positive as a whole. So the negative in the front is just hanging out right there. So we want x by itself. We have a 2 in the denominator. we got to get rid of that. So we're going to multiply both sides by 2 because that's negative 3x divided by 2. And the opposite of division is multiplication. So we're going to multiply this side by 2 as well. So I'm going to have 2g equals a negative 3x because division is undone by multiplication. Inverse of division is multiplication. Now your question is, is, is x by itself? Nope. It is attached to that negative 3 by multiplication. It's negative 3 times x, and the inverse of multiplication is, hopefully you said division in your head, if not out loud. So divide by negative 3. These three go away. So I have x equals, looking good, it's by itself, 2g over 3. And it's a negative 3. Depending on the formatting, they may put that negative like where you saw it in the begin with, where the bar is. They could put it on the 2, or you put it on the 3 still, since that's where it was before. But it just has to stay. The entire answer needs to be negative, whether wherever you put the symbol. And x is indeed by itself. So we nailed it. All right, I got two more of these. Ready? So number 11 and number 12 on your printable if you printed it. All right, again, we have a negative. I'm going to attach it to that 5 and then just make this a bar so I can see it. And I'm trying to solve for A. Right now, A is in the basement or in the denominator. Can't have it there. So it's negative 5 divided by A. The inverse of division is multiplication. Multiply this side by A, this side by A. And again, these are literal because you have two variables. So we're not going to have an A equals a number by itself. You can't throw out other variables. So I now have A times U, and you can write in parentheses if you want, or just A U equals, these A's go away, so negative 5. Now your question for yourself, is A by itself? It is not. So we are going to divide by U because A times U in the inverse of multiplication is division. So a equals negative 5 over, and that looks like a w, sorry, u. Is a by itself? It is indeed. So we are done. All right, one more. Pause the video and try it. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? You mess up, no big deal. Nobody cares. Nobody's watching. Erase it and fix it. Do it. Mess up now. The more you mess up now, the less you'll mess up on your quiz and the less you'll mess up on your EOC. Literal equations, I can promise you, will be on your EOC. So get used to messing up now when it doesn't matter because it only matters when we have a grade and at the end. And right now, these are just notes. All right, so you're solving for A. If you paused. So A is now at the bottom with 2A. We need 2A out of the basement. So 3 divided by 2A. 
So we will undo that by multiplying by 2a. So these go away. And we multiplied because it is the inverse of division. So we have 2a z equals 3. Now this is a little different. I need a by itself. There's all kind of mess over there attached to a. I have a 2 times, mul 2 times a and then a times z. So multiplication for both of them. You can do it a couple of different ways depending on how your brain works. But we know that the inverse of multiplication is division. So we can take it one at a time. So divide by 2, divide by 2, and that's going to give me a z equals 3 over 2. And then divide by z, divide by z, that puts it on the bottom because you can't divide, divide. And then that means a equals 3 over 2z. Now, if you did it together, so 2az equals 3. I know 2 and z, you would just do divided by 2 because that gets rid of that, and divide by z because that gets rid of that. Now I have a by itself, and then do it to the other side because whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So 3 divided by 2z. And I put the line through the z because sometimes my 2s look like z's, just like my b's look like 6s. And I have tried for over 10 years to make them better, and they're not. So, all right, I'm going to stop this video. Take a breather. That's your next step in literal equations. You are going to rock these. See you next video, guys.